In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a little mini scheme that you can utilize out of the strong H wing that can be found in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, what I do here on Matt on YouTube is I cover Madden 21 tips and tricks. We break down um, just different strategies to approach the game, different methods, different strategies that you can use to improve your offense or your defense. We break down defenses as well as offensive tips. And um, what we're going to do today is I wanted to break down kind of a little bit of a mini scheme out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. But if you're new to the channel and you this may be your first video, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button because we upload four videos a day, every single day on YouTube with tips just like this one that um, are going to help you get better at this game. Uh, as well as joining the YouTube channel, what I would also encourage you to do is to go ahead and join the Discord. Now, uh, the Discord is a great place to be able to connect, um, be able to learn Madden, and be able just to um, connect with other Madden players who are looking for lab partners or just wanting to talk Madden 24-7. Uh, it's a great way to also be able to stay up to date with the latest things that are happening with my YouTube channel, like when we go live for our live streams on, on YouTube, which happen every single day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, or uh, whenever we release a new video, whenever we release a new ebook, uh, whenever we release new content for you guys. Um, so that's a, another reason that I would highly encourage you to jump in that Discord. But anyways, today what I wanted to do is I just wanted to take a look at this formation because I feel like a lot of people know about the power of the running plays from the Raiders playbook. But I don't feel like people put um, a lot of time into the passing concepts that you can use. And so today we're just going to kind of skim through uh, the runs. But really what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the passes. So real quick, just for the running plays, obviously you have several really good runs from this formation. But uh, the run that is probably the best run is the stretch alert looky. Um, the next run that I would say is the power alert looky. And then obviously this zone split. So we're just going to run over these really quickly and show you these and how they work. Now, obviously as a running player, um, if you're going to use these, one of the things that's really, really smart is to just use motion to turn this into like a strong tight um, or different things like that. This is going to help with different sheds, different um, gap shoots, different things like that that you're going to see from a lot of people's run defense. But basically, these these runs are really good. Uh, my favorite run is the Power Alert Smoke, and the primary reason for that is because I feel like this is the hardest run to shoot. And the one thing that I like to do um, with my tight end here on the right is I like to motion him to the left and just kind of quick snap him, and you'll see that he's going to do a good job of sealing this edge off. This is just going to be a simple yard gainer. There's really nothing too complicated about it. Um, stretch and Power O, in my opinion, are still two of the best runs. Now, this stretch alert looky, specifically from this set, is very difficult to shoot. It's def very, very, very difficult to um, use or blow up. Now, one thing I do want to show you really quickly here uh, from this, you'll notice that if I try to playmaker this run, um, to the right or to the left side, it's not going to change the uh, direction. You So you can't playmaker this run. So that's something that you do need to know um, going into this that you're pretty much going to run the ball to the right side of the field every time. Now, obviously, with this counter weak, um, that's the one you know kind of exception. Um, and this counter weak, honestly, gets really, really good blocking, especially against different types of like meta run defenses. For example, um, if, if I'm facing something like the big nickel over G or something like the the 335 wide this is a really really good run to test out um, and just obviously you know one of the things you want to do is you want to ID the mic you want to double team you know whoever it is that key block it, that you're going to want to um, make is and then one other little tip that I have for you as far as running the ball is you actually if you select right here this is a really good example this is big nickel over G and what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch the defense and kind of do what most people would do to try to stop this. We're going to stand in this gap here with Summers. So what you want to do when you run this, like for example, if I wanted to run the stretch alert looky, um, I'm going to ID the, the, the shoot guy. Whoever the shoot guy is, that's who I'm going to ID. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out who do I want to double team, right? Who's the key block on this play? Um, for this specific play, it's this outside guy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click circle and I'm going to click on to my tight my um, my tackle. You can't do it because it's an RPO, but from a dive perspective, I could do it with the center. And what you'll see is you're going to get really good blocking and you're going to be able to roll uh, downhill with this run. Now with the dive, 
uh, what I can do is I can actually click onto the alignment. You see this, I'm clicked onto the alignment. And all I did to do that was I clicked circle and then I clicked circle and held down on the left joystick to be able to manually move whoever I wanted to go. So for example, if I'm facing something like this, I want to make sure that I win on Zadarius Smith. I want to drive him out of the way and I don't want anything to come down the middle of the field. Well, with me being able to click on right here, and I'll show you again here. This is halfback dive, and I'll just show you. I'm going to click on right here. You're going to see that he's going to get a nice clean block, and this dive is actually really, really good. In my opinion, this dive might be the best run um, just because of the consistency. It's really, really hard to stop this dive from a too tight type set like this. Um, and again, just mix up the motions, and, and you're going to be good. But... But don't don't discount this counter week. Um, this counter week is actually really good, especially if you click on the right guy. Um, obviously, right there we got blown up. But mm -hmm. against a lot of run defenses, because they're so heavy trying to stop the outside run, this is going to kind of trap them. And so we'll show you um, we'll show you nickel three three five wide here, and we'll kind of show you just like a gener general general uh, run defense that you'll see from nickel three three five wide. So something like this. Uh, with their user kind of sitting here. So if I were to run the counter, um, I just want to show you how this is going to work. You see you get pretty good block. You see how they trap the outside guys? And it allows that wide open lane um, for you to be able to run the ball really right down the middle of the, def um, of the defense. The one thing that I would recommend with the counter weak um, is to go ahead and ID whichever linebacker you think could shoot. So like right here, this would be that Barnes. And you'll see that they do a really, really good job of, of blocking him. But that pretty much does it for the running plays. Now I'm going to jump into the passing plays. Now for those of you guys that don't know, um, I actually just released my New England Patriots offensive ebook. This ebook is um, a really, really good ebook, and here's why. It covers over 36 formations, over 300 pages of material, and it also has, in my opinion, the most powerful and potent and consistent offense in Madden 21. You're going to be able to beat pretty much everything that anybody wants to do. But the one thing that the Raiders book can do a little bit better than the Patriots book is it can run the ball. Um, and so obviously the Patriots book, you want to be balanced or you want to be a pass heavy player. If you're a runner, um, we do have some stuff in there for you. But what we're about to do is show you some passing concepts um, from the strong age wing. Now, uh, with the New England Patriots ebook, all you got to do to pick it up is to go ahead and click the link in the description. But if you want to pick up my free sample formation uh, that I have from this ebook, it's an hour long breakdown on the ace slot offset. All you have to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812. 216-3644. Just shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to pick up that guide and uh, and I'll shoot you the link to that sample video. Okay, so strong H wing. As far as passing goes, there's a couple of things we can do. Um, PA Power O is a must have. You must have that play in your playbook. Um, another play that I really like is this PA Sprint Flat. We're going to go over PA Boot Shot. We're going to go over F Trail. And then we're going to just come out in the play uh, spacing. I really like spacing. It's a very simple concept. But the cool part about this is you can have a fairly decent passing scheme uh, from this playbook, in my opinion, especially if you have a tight end apprentice or a route uh, chemistry. Maybe you have Mike Evans on, on a route chemistry or you have a, a tight end apprentice. I think tight end apprentice is probably the most important um, from these sets. Now, the, the first thing that you can do out of this spacing play is you can snap and you can get the ball out there quick to your fullback very easily you know just a simple quick throw to the flat now uh, one thing that you can also do is if you go to this play f trail you notice here that it's got the fullback on a trail route but it has this tight end on an underneath route what i like to do is i like to take the tight end uh cameron right here i actually like to just put him on a hot routed flat route and what this is going to do is this is going to pull a lot of the zones out of the way for you to be able to basically hit that route to OJ Howard. So you're going to pull all the zones out, and then you're going to be able to check down right to Howard really quickly. And they're going to have to use that, and to be quite honest with you, they probably will. And so what we've got set up here on the back side of this little route combination is um, just a simple, you know, obviously you could wheel the back and you could do that. But the other thing that we have from this is we have this just a very, very simple post, but it's a very good post. Uh, and this is a very special post because this specific post comes from the um, 
this this specific post is going to come from the um like the pat's type pat sale type of post where he is going to simply cross the formation uh, let me show you this real quick you see how it's a shallow and it does cut a little bit but i can also smart route that post route and turn that into a um a simple in route as well if i wanted to but you'll notice again these flats are going to be taken away um, because you're pulling the zones out now the one other thing that i would recommend with f trail is actually really like taking Gronk and putting him on a curl because it's gonna pull a lot of those yellow zones up. Um, and what this is gonna do is, I know this is a very simple route combination here, but you have this nice snap throw here and basically they have to make a decision. Are they gonna guard Gronk or are they going to guard your, um, your, your receiver? The next thing you could do from F trail is you can actually, um, you could actually take Gronk and you would another another thing that you could do is you could put him on a crossing route uh, as you can see right here and then with Cameron Brait I like to still leave him on that flat um, and then the only thing I'm going to do with my back um, is just basically put him on a block and release I'm not going to do anything crazy with the running back here but what you'll notice is this deep crosser is going to get over a lot of zone coverages that they're going to shoot at you now, one of the things that's really important from this when you start passing from these under center sets is to be able to pick up the blitz. And so one of my favorite tactics is to block the running back on most of my passing. Um, that's going to help me a lot with my blitz pickups. One other thing I forgot to tell you uh, from this is by running this tight end on a simple flat route, you have a nice flat uh, and corner concept. So I can throw that, I can pass lead Gronk down and outside against any outside coverage and basically we just have um, a really really good little flood concept here against pretty much any zone of the game and we have our running back in the backfield able to block for us um, to give us some extra time because you are not going to have a ton of time to throw the ball with this play and that's why you know I would just encourage you when you start throwing from under center you have to really start to master some of the quick things like for example i could snap the tight end out right here and i could run him on a on a little drag if i wanted to obviously you don't want to do that but but i could i do have that option another thing that i could do something very simple um with my tight end if i wanted to just kind of get you know again just basically just kind of work the motion game a little bit uh, i could put him on a flat motion him out and now you'll see um got that tight end coming back across the middle of formation so really against man coverage you really don't want to look to your tight end i would say what you really want to do against man coverage is you really want to just basically keep their user on that right side of the field which you probably will with all this action happening and come back on this left side here and just take this simple um this simple post route to mike evans so that's f trail the next play that we're going to go over is pa shot um, now this is specifically designed for people that like to run the meta man to man coverage and you'll see a lot of this especially when you start running the ball, you'll see something like this right here. They'll put their safeties down in the box and essentially put them in purple zones. Um, this little route to Mike Evans though is really, really good because it's a stock out and up. And oftentimes it's going to get over the zone. Uh, didn't get over, or not over the zone, I'm sorry, over the man coverage. Now real quick, I'm just gonna back off the, the pressure just a little bit here um, because I just wanna show you uh, what you're gonna see from this. But again, you're going to see something like this right here, and maybe they even, you know, man up the back or whatever. But you're going to go to this play right here, PA boot shot. Um, and what I like to do with this, honestly, um, I will typically take Gronkowski because I all I will normally have a tight end apprentice or something, and I'm just going to put him on a delay fade. Um, nothing too crazy here. But what I like about it is this is like a natural boot, and what you'll see here. Is as you get out of the pocket you can release that fade so if there's any zone coverage that they're running that fade is going to get up against the zone coverage one other thing i want to show you with this play uh, and that's a way to really take advantage of this delay fade if i motion gronk to the left here i can put him on a delay fade and he's going to go to the left side and if i just run out of the pocket because it is a bootleg they're going to start chasing me and then i can throw back across with gronkowski now, as a general rule, you know, if you're a right-handed quarterback, you really don't want to be doing that. Um, so what you could do is you could flip everything, and it would work just fine the opposite direction. Let me show you what I'm talking about with Gronk one more time. So, again, all I'm going to do is motion him to the left, and I'm going to put him on a delay fade. 
and this is man-to-man -man coverage so i'm gonna let the auto roll out just take me all the way out here and then once they chase me once they chase the quarterback then i'm gonna just release the, the tight end fade and this is a really simple tactic there's nothing again there's nothing um too crazy about this but basically what we're doing is we're going to read that quick flat and then we're going to look up to that crossing route um if that crossing route's not there and mike evans route's not there then we're going to then you know kind of move but by the time all this has happened we're all the way out here and we can take this little check down read uh to that delay fade and then real quick let me show you um let me show you Mike Evans route real quick one more time. And again, this is just like if they if they take a safety away on that left side of the field to come down and run support, um, you'll get this a lot. You'll get that right there where he beats man to man coverage and gets right over the top of it. One thing you can also do if you want this to kind of happen a little bit quicker in this formation is you can uh, smart route Mike Evans. And so what I could, what I would really vision is something like this right here, where you're motioning this delay fade over. Now at the snap of the ball, your first read is always going to be your flat. So you're just looking in this flat area. Can I take this? No. Okay. Can I take that? No. Okay. Can I take this little crossing route? And the answer to all of those would have been no, because the crossing or the the out and up did not work, uh, did not get open like it should have. Okay. The next and, and in that situation, that's where you check down and kind of scramble out and, and hit that delay fade. Um, now, this next route, this is against like press man and here again, just release him and throw it once they're as they're chasing you. And again, this this would work. Let me show you. Let me show this play to you on the right side of the field just so you, you can kind of feel what I'm talking about here. But we're going to go to PA boot shot. Gronk's going to get motion to the right and is going to get put on this delay fade. And I personally don't like to touch Evans's route. I like to leave it as it is because I think it just gets a little bit better separation. And what you'll notice is now we're going to be rolling out here. So we're rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And then once they start chasing us, they we just release it and, and throw the ball. Now, obviously, if you have a mobile quarterback, this is going to be a lot more effective. So with the Chiefs, if you're, if you're the Kansas City Chiefs and you have Patrick Mahomes running that, it's very, very um, effective. Okay? So that's the delay fade tactic. Uh, the next thing, that's PA boot shot. Uh, the next play is PA sprint flat. And what you'll notice here, what I like about this play is um, you have this deep crossing route, but what's really nice about it is you can actually smart route this route to go a little bit deeper. And with Cameron Bright, you can smart route him to go a little bit sharper. So literally all you're gonna do here is just nice little quick flat play. And you're gonna basically be able to do the same kind of concept. What I also like about this is the tight end um, Gronkowski is going to release at a really, really nice little spot right here. You see right there, just that quick little zig route. Now, one thing that I do like to do on this play specifically, and the main reason that I like this is because just to help with that pass protection, just re-block the fullback. And the reason you want to re-block the fullback is because you want him to actually help in pass protection. You don't want him to fake like he's going on a run block. Okay, it's it's you want to basically block him so that you know you can you can uh, do what you need to do as far as pass protection. And obviously with this you can you know you can basically you know there's the cool part about this play right here is this route to Mike Evans. I'm telling you is really really good. Um, the one thing I would also recommend on this specific play is as soon as you snap the ball, I would recommend canceling the play action. I wouldn't even I wouldn't necessarily block the running back because I want that running back on that little route right there, but I would cancel the play action. And what you'll notice is Mike Evans route will beat man coverage right over the middle of the field every single time. So if they run man to man coverage, you've got really two really easy reads uh, against this uh, on this play here. You've got Mike Evans. And then you also have Rob Gronkowski on that little delay zig. That's going to kill man-to-man -man coverage. And again, you could do that little air truck right up the field uh, to be able to get that out there. What's also really good is how fast within this play the running back will shoot to the flat. And the, the reason that's important is what you'll see here is Gronkowski um, is going to be able to kind of follow that little flat route and, uh, and get out there. One little thing you can also do from this uh, PA sprint flat is you could take Howard right here 
and just put him on a curl route, right? Or a simple little, um, just a simple route, right? A curl and in, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you'll see that, you know, defenses will oftentimes forget that he even exists. And, um, and you'll be able to do a lot of good stuff with this fullback. One of the, my favorite little tactics um, with this play is to streak my fullback because, um, you know, they're going to be thinking, okay, he's in run. Oh, no, he's not in run. And you can kind of hit that fullback right up the seam. Uh, for, for some reason right there, he didn't re react to the ball. But that's a very nice little simple play that you can use at a PA power. Oh, again, you're just – or I'm sorry, PA sprint flat. Again, all you're doing is you're just streaking your fullback. Obviously, you want Mike Evans to go on a smart route, um, which you'll see right there. Okay, so that's PA sprint flat. Um, and then the next play that I want to talk about is PA power O. And as you can see here, Gronk is on the, you got Mike Evans on a post, which you want to make sure you smart route that. You got Gronk on a corner route, which you want to make sure that gets smart routed. And then what you're going to do with Cameron Brait is you're going to simply put him on a streak. Um, that's what I like to do. Now on the running back side of things, you want to go ahead and run that because that looks just like power O. But what you'll notice is this corner route to Rob Gronkowski is going to get you a lot of separation uh, against zone coverage. It really doesn't matter uh, what is zone coverage because, again, this has so much room to work. Um, it has room to get open. It has space, uh, which is really nice from this formation. This is against cover two, and you can see he's still going to run free um, as long as you're running this, you know, this, this um, set. And you always want to run to the wide side of the field. So you always want your receiver on the short side of the field when you're running this formation. So that's another uh, really good play from PA Power O. And um, now one other thing that you can do, let's say that you have, you know, Cameron Bray, you can, you can put him on a delay fade as well if you wanted to. And effectively what you could do from this is you could just roll out, right, and then release your fade and then hit that as a check down. It's another way to run this same you know, basic concept from this formation. But, uh, and then the last play I want to go over is spacing. I really like this play. I think it's really simple, but it's so effective. And all we're going to do here, um, you know, is just basically take what the defense gives us. Um, I like to take the running back and put him on a swing to the left side. So you got hard flats on both of those sides here. But what you'll see is one of these little hitches are going to be open. Most of the time, Gronkowski is going to be the receiver that gets open. Um, he'll beat man and he'll beat zone. But again, all I'm doing, you see here, I can literally just run the stock. And it just gets such good spacing on the field. Um, it's just simple. You know, and there's nothing too crazy about it at all. Um, but but that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing too, uh, too wild. One thing I did want to show you before I jump off here is this other route to... Um, do, 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 like if you wanted to do this so um, out of PA sprint flat one of the things that you can do because when you motion break you can snap him the, you can snap the ball to him really quick so I could basically take Howard and, and block him or whatever put him on a, an in route or something right when I motion break to the right I'm going to put him on a slant and I'm just going to snap the ball and what you'll notice is now I've got that tight end you know coming on a backside uh, a backside slant now, in my opinion, what's important when you do something like that is to go ahead and set up a flat on the backside. So, you know, right here, this would kind of be what I would do. I'd put that running back on a little swing to the left, and then I'd motion that tight end out, put him on a slant, snap the ball. And now what you'll see is you got some really nice little reads against man-to-man -man coverage kind of over the middle. So you're able to hit that slant or you're able to hit that post, uh, depending on where their user uh, ultimately goes. Uh, one last thing out of F trail, you can just simply put the tight end on a streak and take the running back and put him on a route. Um, one thing I think that's really underrated is just motioning the running back out on this little table route if you have a, a backfield master. And um, you'll be surprised at how well this route will do on the outside. I think these motion out backs um, are just so simple. Another thing that you could do from this, uh, let's say that you wanted to put the back out on the left side. You see here, um, he's going to go into a nice little position uh, in this formation. So I just think messing around with the motions you can do with your running back is always helpful. Um, getting unique alignments. Um, for example, one of the things I really like to do out of PA Power, or not PA Power, oh, I'm sorry, F Trail, um, is, is something as simple as this right here. Just take the running back, motion him out, and then put him on a simple smoke screen. Or take him and put him on a streak and put Braid on a flat. You know, just something simple 
um, just to kind of make them mindful that you can always flex that running back out and be in a little bit more of a kind of general thing. Because what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to run Tampa 2 on you. They're going to run Tampa 2, and they're going to try to stop you. When you use these motions and just kind of mix and match this, this forces the defense to be off guard, and you're going to be able to uh, move the ball down the field. So that's the strong wing little mini scheme out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you are looking to take your offense to the next level, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and text in and get that sample formation from the New England Patriots ebook. If you haven't picked the ebook at ebook up yet you can do so in the description this ebook has four installments four volumes so when you buy it you're going to get four ebooks in one they're all on the new england patriots um, playbook but they're all about different sets and different uh, things within it we cover over 36 formations with over 300 pages and so i put everything that i know about offense in madden in this ebook for you guys i give you setups out of every single formation in the new england patriots playbook and kind of break down what I would do with all of it. So as well as film studies and also talk about pocket presence and how to read the defense and pretty much everything you need to succeed on the offensive side of the ball. So if you haven't picked up that ebook, I would highly encourage you to do so. That link is in the description. And um, our next YouTube video is gonna go live at four o'clock PM Eastern time. But until then, if you enjoyed this video, here's some videos that you should check out on your screen um, that cover Madden 21 tips and tricks, um, as well as some of the stuff from the New England book. So thanks for your time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on our stream tonight. Be sure to text me and uh, say what's up. If you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is in the description of every video that I do. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern.